Sharika Jacko Jackson, the superwoman, drops a huge surprise on the track and field world as of today, May the 4th. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. Well, last year in 2023, when she opened up her track and field season, she did it by running a world leading time in the women's 100 meters she laid down a spiffy 10.82 at the national stadium and had the entire world in a frenzy what are we talking about none other than the two-time world champion in the women's 200 meters fifth fastest woman alive in 100 and the second fastest woman all time in the 200 meters jamaica's remarkable sharika jackson all stage all for the eight point of the women's 100 meters. Sharika Jackson got up well. She already takes control of this race. Sharika Jackson will pay on the field. Look at that time. 10.80. We're still in April. 10.82. 11 0 9 a 4. Natasha Morrison in second. She's in fine form as well. 11.11 for Anthony Strawn of the Bahamas in third. Shatani Forbes. Now, oh, with this kind of run, 10.82. Shots were fired and the entire track and field world knew that Sharika Jackson was coming and coming hard for everyone in the top tier of the women's 100 meters. Now available Peter Lloyd World t-shirts with yep, good to go and bless up on the highest quality t-shirts. You can get long sleeve, short sleeve, any size and or color you choose. We have them cut for women and for men. So if you want to support the channel, keep us glowing keep us growing keep the best in sports happening get your peter lloyd world t-shirt because you royals are truly the best Jackson had stated that her dream was to close out the season as the double world champion in both 100 and 200 meters and came this close, taking silver behind the USA's Shakari Richardson, who won the 100 meter gold medal in that instance. They're away first time. Can Shelly Ann Fraser Price deliver? She's got a good start, but watch Sharika Jackson. Sharika Jackson, is she just going to do it? Oh, on the near side, right at the end. They were getting ready to write the script for Fraser Price, but from nowhere in lane nine, it's an incredible performance from Shikari Richardson. Sharika Jackson has been missing in action since the beginning of the 2024 season. On several occasions, she was slated to perform and or run at an event and simply withdrew. Now, initially, we were told there was some sort of injury issue, nothing major, but we have not seen her since. She's been slated to run at least two or three other occasions and withdrew. Now, today, she drops a huge surprise herself and her team over there at NVP because today she's about she's supposed to be running at the national stadium later today yes you heard me right may the 4th at the national stadium in the women's 100 meters this will be at the j3a's all commerce meet taking place later today of course as i said in 100 meters and people surprise everybody now the thing is is she going to actually run i'm hoping and really hoping that she actually runs 
Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Will she actually turn up to run? And are you surprised? Of course you are. We are all surprised. But like I said, she's been slated to run at at least two or three other events and simply did not turn up. So I am hoping against hope, and I kind of get the feeling that she will turn up. Now, if she turns up, will she lay down a world lead like she did last year? Because I'm telling you, this year, her plans are very straightforward. She's going to walk away. Her, her goal is... 100 and 200 meter the double champion at the paris olympic games there is no doubt in my mind that is what she's working towards athletes at her level do not work towards being number two and i believe that she is miffed she's a little po'd she's a little upset because she could have won that 100 meters last year taking nothing away from the american shikari richardson so i think that's one of the reasons why we have not seen her so yeah she surprised all of us well, I don't know about you, but she certainly surprised me. Will she turn up to run? And if she turns up to run, will she lay down a world leading time in that 100 meters? Now, the truth is Sharika Jackson with her 10.65. Jackson has been improving at an astronomical rate since she started to run the 100 meters. Officially, she first official 100 meter that we know of that she ran was in 2021. Officially, at the national championships, where she laid down a very, very impressive 10.78 as her opening mark in the 100 meters. Officially, um, and she has improved by the Olympic. The end of that Olympic year, her mark had moved down to 10.77, and we have seen her consistently improve throughout. Last year, she went from that 10.75, I believe, that she closed 2022 with. Correct me if I'm wrong, but she now stands at 10.65, which is a heck of a time. That's a serious time. I believe she ties that time fifth fastest all time alongside Shakira Richards of the United States. So the fact of the matter is these two young ladies are the two big guns coming up as younger athletes. Will she be able to lay down something as impressive as she did at her opening last year? And we showed you when she ran that world lead of 10.82. What kind of time is she going to run? I really think, and I'm a huge believer in this young lady, people. I really think this young lady, if she is completely fit, is going to touch close to that 10.61, 10.60 mark, I believe, based on the, the rate at which she has been improving each and every year, this is not impossible. Plus, I also think with an Elaine Thompson Hera, with a Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and with a Shakari Richardson and a, a, a Marie Josi Talou pressing her, the sky is the limit. She's an incredible talent. So I am hoping against hope that she turns up and runs um, later today. So yeah, she surprised me. Don't know about you, but she cer certainly surprised me. Now, stat says that 61% of you who come here often have not yet hit the subscribe button. I'm going to ask you to do me, Peter Lloyd, a personal favor, and please hit that subscribe button. And I promise you that we will continue to improve the quality of the videos, the presentations, live streams, etc. The bigger we get, the better we will become. You have my personal promise and my word and if you know me i keep my word you are royals kings and queens bless up